mode. So just to make sure, can anybody hear us? Can you see the screen? If you can, please, can you raise your hand? Thank you so much. Good morning and welcome to the Contours Travel uh, webinar on the Yucatan Peninsula area of Mexico. My name is Rod and I'll be um, going, talking you through the webinar this morning. Um, with this first slide, you can see one of the most famous um, sites of the Yucatan Peninsula, one of the main sites there, which is Chichen Itza, one of the seven wonders of the world. Um, for those who are, are not familiar with Contours Travel, it's been going for over 40 years with the founder, Ted, um, and we've been customising and running tours throughout Latin America um, for over 40 years. So um, we hope to be doing so for another lot of years. <clears throat> Mexico is a, um, a popular destination for the Australian market at the moment. Easy to travel to, a safe and secure location, and easy to get to with access from Australia by the United States, from South America, Europe, um, and other parts of the world. Famous for tequilas, mariachas, tacos, day of the dead, piñatas, lots of things, and no doubt you've all been to a Mexican restaurant and drank tequila at some stage. Okay, so for tourists visiting, um, there's no visa required for Australians to visit there. Um, the temperature, any time of year is a good time. As you can see, the area that we're fo focusing on today, we've got a little bit of a temperature chart so that you can see that the temperatures are generally um, running through that sort of 20 to low 30s, very pleasant temperatures, and the rainfall doesn't vary much throughout the year. So not too many rainy days and nice weather. Okay, um, the conversion rate of the local currency, pesos, 15 pesos to an Australian dollar, moderately priced and can represent very good value for um, tourists visiting to Mexico. Okay, the area that we're going to be touching on um, today, this is the whole of Mexico, and the area that we'll be focusing on is pretty much this section through here, from Campeche down to the border with Belize there, which is known as the Yucatan Peninsula. Okay, so a little bit of a smaller map here. Uh, we'll be starting from Campeche, talking about the ruins of Uxmal, Cabal, Merida, down here to the Salastun Peninsula, as well as the, um, the Biosphere Reserve in this area, Chichen Itza, Valladolid, Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Cozumel, Tulum, Isla Holbox, and Isla Mujeres. Okay, so to get us started off, we'll start off with Campeche a bit of a, a, a rural town, but a rural town in Mexican sizes, it's a population of about 800,000 people. Now, Campeche can be a very good stepping stone. You can enter um, Campeche on flights coming from the USA, uh, Mexico City, or you can travel overland from Palenque, Villa Hermosa, or onwards to Merida and Cancun. The main um, reason why you would visit to Campeche is to visit some of the Mayan sites that are located outside of Merid, uh, Campeche. So you can do a day trip which will combine the um, sites of Balamco and Calakmal. Okay? They're both located in the Biosphere Reserve which also features abundant wildlife. These are two of many Mayan ruins. Mayans being one of the, the five major civilizations who um, ruled over Mexico or parts of Mexico um, during the pre-colonial period. Okay, so to go to the two sites which I just mentioned, um, it is a full day trip leaving around about five o'clock in the morning as you've got about three hours drive and visiting to both of those two sites, um, sort of more remote and less visited sites. People with a little bit less time frames, you can just make a half day trip to Edsna and you can see the, the, the classical Mayan um, constructions with the pyramid type of buildings and the, the ball court area. Um, the Mayan civilization ruled over millions of people and some of these cities in themselves had populations of um, 500 or up to 500,000 people living in some of those, not these particular ones. Okay, so in Campeche, there's a variety of accommodation available from Hacienda Stays, just outside of um, Campeche, to centrally located hotels. So there's a variety of 
um, tourist class and superior class accommodation available there. Okay, a general stay, it can be done um, either on transit between Palenque and Merida one night or it can be extended to two or three nights for people who have more of an interest in the Mayan sites to be visited. Okay, moving on from there, if you were to leave Campeche, you can travel overland um, by bus or by private transfer onwards to the city of Merida. Okay, this is known as the, the America's Capital of Culture in 2017, known as the White City, although most of the painting of the buildings are no longer painted white. You can see the um, little bit of Mexican culture there with the old VW um, and the horse and cart, which you can do city tours in. Merida is generally a two to three night stay with a lot in the region um, that can be visited such as or lots of beautiful um, hacienda and hotel style accommodation and in the area you've got a variety of cenotes. Now a cenote is a, a natural pit or a sinkhole um, that's been sort of eroded away um, from the collapse of the limestone bedrock and the water in can be either fresh water, a combination of um, fresh and salt or salt water. There is believed to be about 6,000 of them in the Yucatan Peninsula alone. So these make, and particularly around the Merida area, there's several of these where you can visit, um, combined with other sightseeing tours, and um, it's beautiful to cool off in a cenote on a hot day with a refreshing swim. Also located in the area, and a day trip either from Merida or people travelling between Campeche and Merida is to visit the <coughs> site of Ushmael with the two pictures here featuring um, of Ushmael and this is also normally combined with a visit to Kabar. Ushmael is one of the most um, famous and one of the best preserved of the Mayan ruins. Um, built during the sort of classical period, the 850 to 925 period, um, when many of the main um, sites were inhabited or, and or being built at that time. Okay, so that makes a wonderful day trip, or you can um, visit Ushmael um, for the sound and light show that um, takes place there. Um, another wonderful day trip um, out from Merida is to the Salastun Biosphere or Reserve, which is located on the Gulf of Mexico area. It's only about an hour and a half outside of Merida, taking a trip down to the little fishing village so you can take a boat trip through the inland waterways, um, which are abundant with flamingos, um, woodpeckers, herons, frigate birds, uh, hummingbirds, and a variety of other bird life. You can easily do this in a day trip you can combine it with a hacienda visit or you can take, um, make it an overnight or a multiple night stay down in that region on the Bay of Mexico, on the Gulf of Mexico. Um, I mentioned about the haciendas, one of the most famous ones is the Hacienda Sututa de Peon. Okay, this was one that was built in the 1800s and um, it was a working hacienda, essentially mostly for the Hennequin. Um, which is the green plant growing here, which was traditionally known as green gold, as they would harvest this and make it into different types of rope or twine that can be seen here, um, the numbers indicating the gauge or the thickness of that rope. Okay, So you can visit there. Um, on there they have a, a sonote which you can visit and you can travel throughout their hacienda on these little wagons that they call trucks which is wooden type of carts which are towed along by horse and mule on the um, rustic and simple rail lines that they've installed throughout the farm to transport the goods. Um, also in the area and what is mostly done um, tourists visiting from or travelling from Merida onwards to Cancun or the Riviera Maya, being Playa del Carmen or Tulum, people tend to have a, a visit to Chichen Itza which is as mentioned earlier, one of the most famous, one of the most visited and one of the seven wonders of the world. So this iconic Mayan site um, features the, the ballpark, the expansive grounds and a, a multitude of different archaeological or Mayan structures throughout the site. Um, beautiful to visit. There is a cenote on the site. You can see El Castillo or the, the pyramid there with on the summit solstice when the little snake 
the shadow appears on the um, walkway going down. Um, over time, they have opened and closed the stairway there for safety and security concerns and people falling down it, but certainly you can explore the site. So you can either choose to visit on the way to Cancun or you can have an overnight stay with a variety of accommodation available around the area from haciendas to simpler hotels all located around there where you can easily access to the site and at times after many of the tourists pass through or head onwards. So it can um, allow for a little bit more of a in-depth and a more peaceful visit to explore Chichen Itza. Travelling onwards from Chichen Itza, um, only 45 minutes and a less visited um, town in the area is Valladolid. Um, smaller town, only around about 50,000 people, known for its um, colonial cathedral, for a cenote that's located right in the middle of the town and a parkway, so that can be for people who are doing um, self-drive type itineraries, which is very popular around and easy around the Yucatan Peninsula, can offer an alternative to the um, much less or much more frequented um, towns and villages as such, so something that could be considered. Travelling across to the coastline onto the Caribbean Sea, um, one of the most popular resorts is Playa del Carmen. So Playa del Carmen is only located about 45 minutes away from Cancun, so a lot of fly-in, fly-out tourists to the international airport there, um, whereas Cancun can be a lot more developed with a lot more high-rise, um, although busy and um, booming, Playa del Carmen is a little bit more um, relaxed, where people tend to leave their resorts as such, tend to wander down the main street, um, the Fifth Avenue, um, exploring the restaurants, trying the local cuisine. Also, there's um, a variety of beaches there, beautiful beaches. The, the beauty of many, many people um, tend to look at Mexico and resorts and things, and they go to Puerto, Puerto um, sorry, oh, Los Cabos or to the um, coastal resorts on the other side, whereas the resorts around Playa del Carmen certainly offer a lot more to do rather for those people who are not just after a beach holiday. Um, there's the opportunity to stay in um, fabulous resorts, um, all-inclusive resorts, or small, simple boutique hotels. So there's a variety. There's hundreds of different hotels available um, for um, different accommodation standards in Playa del Carmen. Um, you can take day trips out to visit the archaeological site, the main um, site, only located around about an hour, an hour away from Playa del Carmen at Colva. You can take the ferry running directly from Playa del Carmen across to Cozumel, which is a, a very popular diving and snorkeling place with the sea turtles and the dolphins, but also visited by many cruise ships along the way. Also nearby and located, um, connected by ferry from Cancun is Isla Mujeres or Women's Island. Um, a beautiful relax on the islands, mostly um, people getting around on golf carts, scooters, so you're not having to worry about the traffic. Very popular with divers and snorkelers. And one of the main features is the underwater museum with a, a series of sculptures that have all been sunk that people can either dive around, snorkel around or visit by glass bottom. Heading in the other direction, away from Cancun, beyond um, Playa del Carmen, another 45 minutes up the road, is Tulum. Tulum is known for its archaeological Mayan site, um, which even survived until after the time of the Spanish conquest, and known for its beautiful beaches, and a lot of people choose to stay in Tulum, as it offers probably a, a little bit more relaxed, quieter destination than um, Cancun and Playa del Carmen as well. So there's a variety of boutique beach hotels available to there and transportation is easily organised to and from Cancun Airport or from Merida as required by clients. Okay. Um, also another area that can be visited from Tulum, Cancun, Playa del Carmen is Isla Holbox, just off the coast of Cancun again and many people choose to go out there for the diving with the whale sharks or just to have a more relaxed and intimate type of um, holiday experience in the region. Um, so, and lastly, we have Cancun, which is a major resort area 
with the high-rise buildings sprawling along the coastline um, and visited by um, a large amount of tourists coming from North America and sometimes it's not always the most appealing for the Australian market as they tend to prefer smaller type of locations and many um, for that reason choosing nearby Playa del Carmen. Okay, many big resorts from the all-inclusive um, to the smaller hotels located um, on, the, on the Cancun um, beaches as such. Okay, so there's lots of different ways of combining this all into a, um, an itinerary that can easily flow through. Um, it could include Mexico City, Puebla, Oaxaca, San Cristobal, and then travelling into um, the Yucatan area, visiting Campeche, Uxmal, on the way to Merida. Extra time can be added to visit to the Hacienda, to the um, Cenotes, and to the Salastun Reserve, Chichen Itza, Playa del Carmen, Tulum, Coba, the islands off the coast here. So you can easily spend, um, be it travelling through transfers and uh, buses, tours, um, you can do it also on a self-drive type itinerary. So anywhere from 7 to 12 days generally allows people a good opportunity to explore the area. Um, these were all highlighted in our very, very recently, like last week, released brochure that should be um, available within your travel agency or um, on your shelves very soon. Um, if you need any, just contact us and we'll be sure to make sure that they get out to you. Okay, so there's a few different um, other tours that are available that we put together. These aren't fixed departures, these are customised, so they can be modified or changed be it with tying in uh, a trip to Cuba, to or from Cancun, before or after combining Mexico. The two sort of fit very well together. So. Um, lots of different itineraries, or if you've got any questions, you can just contact us and we can put some, something together to suit. Okay, so um, please have a look at our website, which is a brand new website, contourstravel.com.au, and there'll be lots of information about the tours, about the products and um, services that we can offer. We do put together packages for Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula, but due to competition from internet, um, I'm sure people can understand that we don't just do resort stays, pop and drop type holidays, as um, we, we just can't be competitive with the specials offered um, from the internet um, booking sites or from the hotels themselves. So what we do, we try and do it well, which is um, make holiday programs or touring programs for the Yucatan Peninsula and other parts of Mexico. Okay, now for those people who have been um, regularly tuning into our webinars, um, you'll realise that we have a question, and by sending the answer of that to contours travel dot at sorry, contours at contours travel dot com dot au, you go into the draw to win a place on one of our familiar trips to Latin America. Okay, so during the webinar, I mentioned about the place where you can go to find the flamingos. Starts with a C. If you send that answer through, and um, you'll go into the draw for any correct answers to go on the webinar. Uh, to go, not on the webinar, on the FAMIL. Okay, now that brings to the end of our webinar today. Please, if anyone has any questions or would like any further information, feel free to type away. And um, if not, I wish you all a happy and safe weekend.